So I'm going to give you a, a brief overview of the social selling cycle or what I call the savvy social success principles. Now, I came upon this because one of the things that I found, and I was also guilty of this, when it comes to social media, a lot of us really start at the end of the cycle, and the end of the cycle is selling. And so I know you're probably saying to yourself, Taria, of course, why else would I be positioning my business on social media if it's not to generate leads and to generate clients to have revenue coming in? That's the main reason why my business is on social media. And I too once thought like that's where I should start. I should start by promoting my products and my services on social media. But I'm going to tell you, I hit a wall and it was one of those head scratching moments that I couldn't really figure out what was going on? Why did it seem so easy for other brands to show up online and make a whole ton load of sales? And then here I am struggling, trying to figure out my head from my foot, right? And so I did a little bit of research and I did a little, a little bit of digging. And then this is what I found. I found that there, in order for social selling to happen and to happen effectively, guess what? three other steps had to be in place. And so we're going to talk about the first step today. And the first step is social listening. And so if you're, if you've never heard of social listening before, I'm just going to break it down in real layman's terms. Social listening in its simplest form is having your air on the ground on social media. So it's putting your air on these social media streets. So what do I mean by that? It's tuning in to the conversations that are happening all around you. So it's tuning in a, around conversation around your specific brand and your business. It's tuning into the conversations that are happening in your industry, um, finding out what things are relevant to your audience. What is it that they, they care about? and understanding your audience needs, and then you taking all of that feedback and using that feedback in a way that you're able to engage and communicate with your audience better. 